Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be answering the question of why your exit delay countdown timer automatically extended uh, after you opened a door on your Qualsys IQ Panel 2 or Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus security system. Now uh, this is because of, because of a feature called Auto Exit Time Extension. Uh, it's enabled by default, and the way that it works, if you fault um, an entry exit zone twice during the exit delay countdown, then it will automatically extend the exit delay timer by 60 seconds. And now this could be the same entry exit zone, you could do it twice, or you might do one entry exit zone and then another entry exit zone during the same uh, exit delay countdown period. Now the, the, the reasoning behind this feature is uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, the system understands that you left the building when you opened up the first entry exit zone, when you faulted the first entry exit zone. Um, and then you would normally leave when you're, when you're arming away. You, you left the building. And then let's say you opened up the, the door again uh, during the same exit delay countdown. Well, the system assumes that now you're back in the building, maybe because you forgot something or you forgot to adjust your thermostat or whatever. You forgot, forgot a drink inside, whatever. Um, and it automatically extends the, the, the countdown so that way you don't remain in the building. Um, it gives you more time to get your stuff together and to exit so that way you don't get caught in the building when it, it is armed. Uh, it's a false alarm prevention tool and uh, we do recommend using it um, just because it, it does prevent false alarms uh, when you rush back into the building. You know, you're not always thinking about your system counting down and if you get caught inside and you could accidentally cause a false alarm. So. Uh, we, we have the feature on our system. Um, I'm going to show you it with the feature enabled, and then I'm going to show you it with the feature uh, disabled. Um, but we have two sensors programmed with our Qualsys IQ Panel 2. Um, they are a, a front door and a back door. Uh, so we're going to try to arm away right now. Select arm system type. And just arm away. And we have secure arming enabled on our system. Um, so we have to enter in a code when we go to arm our system. So we're going to enter in our master code, which that's at the default. Um, one, two, three, four. Now normally you would have that feature disabled so that way you could just arm right away, but we had it on. So we have one of our zones here, and uh, I guess it's our front door, and we, we faulted it once. We're going to get it back, and now we're going to try it again. And there, as you can see, it added 60 seconds to our exit delay countdown because we faulted our front door twice. We opened our front door, and we left, and then we came back in, and the system knew that, so it, it extended it by, um, by 60 seconds. So we're going to just choose uh, the X button here, and we have to enter in our code to, uh, to get the system to cancel the arming session. And I also want to show you it if you use uh, two different sensors. It's going to give you the same result. So we're going to choose uh, to arm the system again. And remember, only arm away will have the countdown. Arm stay will just go into effect immediately. So we'll enter in our code. And we're going to first do our, our front door. And so we'll restore that. And now let's say we fault our back door. Same effect. Um, the system knows that although we left, although we left using our front door, um, we came back in through the back door, and it, it did the same thing. So whether you fault the same sensor twice or you fault two different sensors, it's going to give you the same result. Um, and I do want to show you here, uh, just to if you want to manually extend the exit delay, you, you need more time, you can always press the plus 60 exit button here. And that, that will increase it by 60 seconds. Uh, you can only do that once per arming session, but that's just an, a neat little trick if you're running out of time. So we're going to cancel our arming session by pressing 1, 2, 3, 4. And uh, so now I'm going to show you how you would um, disable the feature if you didn't want um, the automatic extensions when you fall to entry exit zones during an exit delay countdown. So we're at the main screen of our Qualsys IQ Panel 2 right here. We're going to click the, the small gray bar at the top, and we're going to choose Settings. We're going to choose Advanced Settings. And then we're going to enter in our installer code, which ours is at the default of 1111. And then we're going to choose Installation. And we're going to choose Security and Arming. And uh, while I'm in here, I'm also going to uh, turn off Secure Arming, just because we actually didn't want that. Uh, that, was, that was a prior video. Um, but if you scroll down even more, um, well, no, not that far, but right there, Auto Exit Time Extension. Uh, so we have it enabled right now, and we're going to disable it. And so now when we go to Armor System, um, when it's doing the exit delay countdown, I'm going to show you that I'm going to fault the sensor twice, and it's not going to automatically increase the time. And also this time, it's not going to ask us for a code because I, I disabled the 
uh, the secure arming feature. Uh, so those are the changes we made. Uh, they're, they're saved once we make those. Um, we can just press the home button at the bottom of the screen, the picture of the house, to uh, get back to the main screen. And now I'm going to demonstrate that the feature is not enabled. It's not going to give me the auto extension. I can still do the manual extension, so I'll show that right now. Uh, so we're going to we're going to arm away. And like I said, this time it doesn't ask us for a code because I disabled secure arming, um, which it's disabled by default. We only had it enabled for a, a video. So uh, we're going to fault this our front door, and then we've restored our front door. Right now, we would be outside of our home or business, and then we're going to do it again. And this time, we didn't get the extension because we disabled the auto exit extension feature. So we're going to just cancel the arming session. Again, it doesn't ask us for a code because we disabled secure arming, uh, which that's how it is at the default. But now we have our um, auto exit extension um, feature. We have it disabled, so we don't get that extra time. But if I did, if I were arming, and I, I was running out of time, and I need more time, I could always press this plus 60 button to, to get the additional time. So that, that can come in handy if you really are running out of time and you need to extend it. But you can only do that once per arming session. So um, if you need more time, you just have to cancel, which is what we're going to do here. So that's uh, why your Qualsys IQ Panel 2 uh, exit delay extended after you opened your door. It's because you opened it to leave, and then you came back inside the house, and you had that feature enabled, so it auto-extended it by 60 seconds as a false alarm prevention method. Um, but if you don't like that, you can disable the feature like we did, and then you won't get that um, extension even if you fault it two, three, or four times. And uh, just, just a reminder, you only get the extension after the second fault. Um, the third fault, the fourth fault, they're not, they're not going to do it. Uh, only the second one will, will cause the timer to be extended by 60 seconds, so keep that in mind. But that's, that's how the feature works on the Qualsys IQ Panel 2. If you have any questions about the Qualsys IQ Panel 2, the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus, or exit delays or false alarm prevention, uh, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com, and we'd love to help you out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video, and remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoy the video. Thank you.